Hey everyone, this is my reaction to the third episode of Itai no wa iya nano de bogyo ryoku ni kyoku furi chitai to omoimasu. And last episode was really great because we finally got Sally into the game who decided to be a swashbuckler, wanted to have a kind of a group dynamic with Maple where they don't get hurt. Which sounds pretty great to me, you know, the untouchable girls and the dynamic between the two of them in the game was great. And we got to even get her some nice some nice uh, equipment of her own. You know, went to a cave, went to defeat a boss by herself because Mabel literally couldn't come help her, sadly. But uh, the bright side is we got to get see her showcase what she can do on her own, you know. Because she's an expert elite gamer, so of course she can handle it on her own. Goes without saying. And got some great a great outfit as a result and I, I even saw like a couple of photoshopped images where they just kind of edited her shorts off of it and somehow managed to make it look even better so you know pretty great stuff just in general i'm really enjoying this show because it's such a nice breath of fresh air and just having a couple of really close friends just playing a game together you know there's no oh no we're trapped in this game together let's we gotta fight to survive let's once in a while sit around looking all sad wondering if we'll ever see our loved ones again like that type of anime is great and all but it's nice to just have fun you know just go to a game just for the fun of it not to survive just to have fun with your friends make new friends it's great <laughs> anyway i don't know i just kind of want to say that because i just i've been enjoying that element of the show quite a bit so let's just get into it and see what happens uh next so three two one play and anime okay oh no more on-screen text <laughs> it's just got so much of it <laughs> double monitor setup, I see. Definitely looks better than my double monitor setup. Yeah, it's it's so cool though. Why must you ruin things? Ah no, no. <laughs> Maple broke the game so bad they had to fix it. <laughs> we don't need more maples. One is enough. One is too much. <laughs> I hope you're proud of yourself, Maple. Yeah, I mean, if there's no real challenge elements, it'd be kind of boring. <laughs> That's just funny, though. <laughs> Maple was that big of a deal. It's such a cool looking shield, though. They can't take that away. <laughs> Uh, come at me, bros. <laughs> Gotta get on her level. Is that all you got? Okay, let's show, show you what I can do. <laughs> I'll be ready for that, because I don't think you were. <laughs> just the raid boss maple, just... <laughs> uh, yeah, I suppose so. <laughs> uh... So can we just watch Sally eat that thing again? I don't remember her real name, just Sally Zern game name. Which is what's on the Miami Miles page, along with Maple being Maple. Not that I remember Maple's real name either. Uh I know Maple was just a straight up English translation of her name. So waiting for you two. <laughs> so many characters. Wonder if we'll get like cosplayers of Maple at conventions. Is it such a good looking outfit? Why are you attacking those two? What do they do to you? And back into it. 
<laughs> they limited me. Yeah, I suppose. Gotta get everything out of the game we can. It's cause you take you forever to get anywhere. We might. Can we afford it though? Just remember you break it, you buy it. Other things in the world are not as sturdy as you. Where were you finally in the air there, Maple? Are you trying to suggest something to Sally? Cover move. <laughs> uh, she'll be your shield. Oh, there they are! There's the two! Finally. She looks so excited, though. They're just beyond adorable. Yeah, but you're you're not lollies like them. Oh, hand holding while well, they are close. <laughs> oh, nay, Sean. Oh God, this is this is more than I could have expected. Ah, uh, they faded away. I guess we're done with those two for now. <laughs> At least we got to see them. That was a legendary pair! For a second I thought Maple was grabbing her, but never mind. Strawberry tart! I think we're like eating ritual food. Wow, that's a fast service! <laughs> So how advanced is this game? Like, can we actually taste it? Because with modern VR tech, food doesn't taste that great in VR. But they're clearly more advanced, so... It really would. Yeah. I mean, I don't want to see these two fight each other. Yes, they are famous, especially Maple. And who are you? Do I know you? How do you know my name? Oh, okay, cool. Oh, well, if you were beneath Maple, who cares about you? Oh, that was her, okay. Yeah, I remember her. She we kind of ignored her a little bit at first, but... Yeah, life is crazy. Next weekend. Okay, that's good news. That means we can have fun with it. Without worrying about anything. They're probably alright. They do they have trophies in their room though. Pain. So who's Pain? Name sounds vaguely familiar. Oh, okay, that's Pain, yeah. I think we saw glimpses of him here or there. Here and there. I love the look of his sword, that's probably why I remember him a little bit. It's gonna go grind, what about you ladies? <laughs> I'm sure we can handle it. We're pretty tough. There we go. <laughs> I don't know. Was there more meaning to that than I thought there was? Possibly.
uh, ghosts. Somebody's afraid of ghosts. I don't think that's true. <laughs> Somebody was so confident before. Does a shield work against ghosts? That's a question. Oh, wow, that angle. That just... I, I was a little bit late to notice it because the ghosts were distracting, but that was quite something. Yes, everyone knows girls are afraid of ghosts. <laughs> Except for Maple, who apparently doesn't count as a girl. But Sally is most certainly a girl. Uh, the ghost in the game can't hurt you. <laughs> uh, you might... I want to hold on to her, make her less scared, Maple. Oh, okay. A secret place to go. I'm sure there's nothing bad down here. Let's explore. Oh, okay. That's actually a little bit scary. Uh, are you okay, sir? Do you need assistance? Do we get a Do we get a quest reward for helping you? Because if not, we're leaving right now. Like, I don't see a yellow exclamation mark over his head, but... Okay, hopefully... Oh. Okay. You can try. I don't want to waste any more potions on this guy. <coughs> Just now we know the exact range of her healing spell, because she wouldn't get any closer than she needed to. Maybe... I don't know. Could just give him a band-aid, an antidote. Just how injured is this guy? <laughs> gonna, we're gonna blow all our mana on this. Okay. Uh, he was a ghost. He was a ghost that was injured somehow. I don't quite get how that works. But it looks like we got something out of it, thankfully. Yeah, Quest just healed his ghosts. <laughs> Such a difference of emotions there. Yes, and then hide under the covers for a while. Huh. It's inside of a giant tree. <laughs> okay, let's just burn down the tree. Okay, not quite what I expected from that. Uh, did it, like, teleport us? Oh, wow. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Great place for a date, you know. Wink, wink, nudge, nudge. Ooh. Is that a gem? On the beach? Pretty lucky. Okay, it's supposed to be a pearl. This is a great place to go. They probably are. We can make, like, matching friendship bracelets with them. Yeah, hopefully somewhere with less ghosts. Your bedroom. <laughs> oh, I will. <laughs> I see how it is. Oh! <laughs> uh, as if she wasn't salty enough as it was. Now this, this is how you enjoy a game right there. The page really does seem pretty fast, though. Ooh! Yeah, you no, no match for my shield. <laughs> These things are not smart. If they both came from different directions at the same time, they couldn't both be blocked. Oh. A bear. 
Maple, defense. Oh, <laughs> what happened to my shield? Uh, why would you do that, Sally? That's not cool. I... Oof. Okay, so it just made it invisible. That's what I figured. Makes sense. You don't want the first time you use a skill to be in a special event, you know? He's just asking for trouble. Probably. Oh no, I hate it when doors and boss chambers shut. Because they usually do. It's gonna be like a plant boss or... This is a cool boss room though. Definitely looks like a plant boss. Does anybody have a weed whacker equipped? Oh, okay, it's like an animal. It went from being a plant to an animal to like an animal plant. I don't know what you call it, but it's attacking us, so. Ah, uh, zoom in on the eye. Huh. That's gonna be a pain to deal with. Uh, this seems like a very strong boss, actually. And we're basically trying to 2v1 a boss, so... Won't be easy. Uh... Hydro, we have a snack for you. <laughs> you shake the tree, the apples come off. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I think it's doing damage. I made a, an impact. So do we, like, take it down, or is it self-destructing? Oh. <laughs> Maple, your landing was not as cool as Sally's. You should take pointers. Some of the camera just keeps focusing on that one bit of Sally's leg, skin on her leg. The cameraman seems to like Sally. It's kind of the impression I'm getting for this episode. Oh, wow, that looked cool. <laughs> okay, fire would be effective against a plant thingy, I would imagine. Yeah, Maple gets just <laughs> so much more agility than what Maple got. Basically, all the animation budget goes towards Sally. And because it would just be wasted on Maple, you know. Okay, do we finally get it? And wow, Sally really does know how to do the cool landings. She clearly is the professional gamer here. I think it's done, Maple, but good job. <laughs> As expected of Sally. Yeah, there's plenty more chances, I'm sure. <laughs> Oh, yo, is he got a shield for us or something cool? Already set up shop on level two. All sorts of things, huh? Okay, that's what I wanted to hear. Because he were gathering materials, so... The other one was better, I, I gotta admit. But it's not bad looking. <laughs> okay. Of course. <laughs> yeah. A kiss? Or... No. Okay. It's pretty cool too.
Wow, this does look like a date location. Wow, even more than the last one. That's saying something. Yeah, I'll definitely take this. I assume romantic music will start playing. <laughs> like seriously, this could not look more like a date than you that if it tried. The candles lit, of course. Okay, we need to drink out of those. Okay. <laughs> wow, this is something. This is something. What exactly is this beverage? I hopefully it's something bad. Huh. Small piece of sky as your meal. <laughs> yes, this is very nice. Hopefully it's not too high in calories or sugar. Yeah, let Maple try it first. She's at strongest defense. Huh. Just drinking the sky right there. Uh, this is a very unexpected scene, I'll be honest. It's great. Probably. I'm sure it'll wear off. Just the sparkly hair. It's very magical. Well, you're here now, so... <laughs> the sparkles in her eyes. Well, that was short, but that was that was a very, very appreciated scene for me. For me. You know, not all the MMO fun has to be fighting monsters. Sometimes you could just do that. Yes. Is it Sally? <laughs> they don't know about the discussions online about these guys. Is that the red-haired girl? That's the red-haired girl. Of course she's flame. Goes without saying. <laughs> okay, okay. I don't know why, but I suddenly kind of want to give her a head pat. <laughs> Entei. Is this an Entei like the Pokemon Entei? <laughs> Pretty cute. And there's that thing again. Oh, nice. I think it's just so creepy looking. It has the its eyes and everything just scribbled in circles. Combined with the 3D, just. Okay. Yeah, I saw another important looking person back there. What? No, the episode's almost over? What? No! Where'd the time go? Good luck, Maple. Yeah. I can't believe the episode's over. Like, what the heck? What just happened? Why would you do that to me? That was so good. Uh, at least certain parts of it. Uh, but like I said, the pace of the anime does seem pretty fast. Like, how many places did we go to today? Like, yeah, the, the Everlasting Sunset area, the Starry Sky area, the place with the plant deer bomb boss thingy, the cave where we fought like a bear. <laughs> Went to the store.
I like how she does a double piece. Double piece always makes you think of something. And then there's that bit. We had a little bit of that Maple being asleep and Sally not in this episode, actually. So, and a sunset, which is also had in the episode. But anyway, anyway, that was the third episode of Itai no wa iya nano de bo gyoryoku ni kyoku furi shitai to And it was good. Another good episode. We got to see our two adventuring, as as they do. You know, they're a party. They're a legendary party. <laughs> Although they did kind of give, you know, Maple the bad news of kind of having to nerf the game because of how broken she is. So, that's how it goes, unfortunately. <laughs> but, you know, if you're too broken, the game's not as fun. So, it's it makes sense, you know. I just love all the talk of, like, you know, what if there were more Maples? That would just be horrible. <laughs> and, uh, yeah, that would certainly be interesting, wouldn't it? <laughs> But yeah, we, we mustn't allow there more maples. One maple is a perfect number. So, in that little bit when she talks about having this that cover skill to cover to cover her friend, that was that was great. We had a lot of cute moments between the two of them, and we also saw the, the lolly pair over here, which are amazing. Like one of them calls the other one Onechan, so I don't know if they're literally sisters or not, but that'd be nice. It's nice either way. Just I love their character designs quite a bit. You got the, like the highlights in the hair. One of them it's like black hair with green highlights. The other one has pink hair with like a darker pink or purple highlight. Like it looks great. They their designs complement each other quite well. They're both absolutely adorable. I love how she's excited. The pink hair one looks like looks while she's window shopping. Like we didn't get a lot of those two, but they're great. Even Maple acknowledges their cuteness. You know. It kind of would have been funny if she looked over, looked over at Sally and said, Hey, we should totally adopt them. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Just that thought went, went to my head during that scene. But... And they even held the hands in this scene, so... If there's any doubt how close those two over there were, that pretty much uh, sells it. So... It's a shame we couldn't have interacted with, them, interacted with them more, but... We had a restaurant to go to, eating sweets, which apparently, yeah, the game is pretty advanced to the point where you can actually taste things, you know? So... Pretty much, like, the highest tier level of VR, it seems like. Which is usually the case in anime. I do kind of wish we had more of a middling tier VR anime once in a while. You know, something in between what we have now with current tech, like Oculus Rift, Valve Index, whatever. And, you know, full dive SAO stuff. I kind of wish we had more middle ground anime between the two. Where it's it feels fairly realistic, but, you know, you don't, you don't like, taste food or anything. Or, but, uh, you know, that's a bit of a, a side complaint, but... That doesn't have much to do with this show. But we did talk about the next event we're going to do, which this time it seems like we can actually party up rather than compete against each other, which is good because, like I said, it'd be pretty unfortunate if Maple and Sally had to fight each other. We, talk we talked about another player, though. Uh, Payne, I believe his name was. They're building up him quite a bit, so as, like, the number one player, basically. So I'm not sure what we'll do with him in the future, but I'm sure he'll have an important role to play. And then, yeah, they suggested, uh, those guys that they were talking to there in that restaurant suggested a place for them to go. And they kind of gave a bit of a warning, like, you know, girls like you might not want to go there. But, you know, Sally's like, yeah, I, I'm going to go there anyway. So rather than giving that kind of vague warning, I think you should have probably told them specifically what to expect. Because, the, yeah, the warning did not do anything. Because she, they still went there, and Sally was terrified. Because ghosts are a little bit scary. You know, yeah, and this shot here, like, 8 minutes, 24 seconds, I think, is like, wow, basically, <laughs> Sally was basically bending forward, where the camera was way behind her, just, her butt looked absolutely massive because of the perspective of the shot, it's kind of my point, which kind of reminded me of a certain scene from uh, Yu Yu Shiki, I think it was, <laughs> but uh, yeah, just, I, that was, it was amazing. We found out, like, it would turn out to be a ghost in the cellar, where we basically just healed him over and over again until he just kind of passed on. I'm not sure exactly how all the mechanics of that works, so, like, healing a ghost, but it worked. So I'm not going to question that too much, because it's... But it is a quest. It costs a reward, you know. Don't, don't have to overthink it. And then we went to the sunset area, which was quite nice. Just 
Yeah, sunsets are a very romantic setting, so this is a good place for a date. But not the only good place for a date we saw in the episode. Like, there were kind of multiple ones, you know? But here, we did find some red gems, which I don't think they specifically said what they were going to do with them, but I gave them the idea of making, like, friendship bracelets or something. It'd be cool if that's what they ended up doing. And then they just splash each other, which is good stuff. And uh, what was it that she didn't want to tell her here? I want to kind of run myself here. Yeah, she says, oh yeah, what's the other place you wanted to go to? I assume what's being referenced here was the space date location we saw later. Because, yeah, if you're going to take someone to a date like that, you know, you surprise would be the best. So I assume that's what the secret was here. Which, yeah, makes sense why she wanted to keep it secret. And then we had the cool fight with the boss, which was obviously the best action scene of the episode. You know, as opposed to the last battle where, you know, Sally basically did everything because Maple couldn't go there. That's something we saw a little bit of teamwork. Like, Sally still did most of it, don't get me wrong, but we were still, like, together, you know. It was still pretty much a group experience for the most part. So it was still really cool. Saw some great action animation from Sally, some great superhero landings. And uh, <laughs> Maple not as good as the landings. Good thing she has a defense, though. But yeah, once she was unconscious, Sally had to kind of take up the reins and 1v1 this boss in a cool fashion. I just love the choreography with her battle animation there. And the way she, when Mabel finally woke up, she's like, Ah, oh, don't worry, Mabel. I, uh, I took care of everything. It's, it's okay. It's all good. <laughs> you know, just it's good stuff. I met up with these and able to get the shield from her. Which I do like the other shield better. I mean, I kind of give it. She doesn't want to use it too much, but I... The other, see, the other one, the design was amazing so this one just comes across as far more generic not bad looking just generic and then yeah she says to celebrate the occasion after she said that i made a joke about kissing which of course wasn't going to happen but what we got wasn't too far off like just a straight up date it's been a actually beautiful location just stars like a night the sky star view you have the candles we have like some leaves or something around the candles light lit after you sit there we have like star sky drinks up here and some celestial orbs fruit tasting things up here like i don't know this was a very interesting area up here like definitely not the kind of thing you would usually expect in a battle rpg fantasy mmo but it was it was quite wonderful it's quite magical you know like i don't know this was this was something i kind of wish more time was spent on it but this was this was very nice i thoroughly enjoyed this you know, after a hard episode of fighting together, you know, it's nice to just kind of go back and celebrate, just have a good time, drink, sparkle together, you know. I don't know. I, I kind of ran out of things to say about it, but I still just kind of want to talk about it, but I just be repeating myself, so we got to move on. We got to move on. Then we got to see the red-haired girl who was with the Flame Emperors, you know. Because I recognize this girl from the opening, you know, of course she has firepower and stuff, and I believe she was bullying the adorable Lolly twins in the opening, and Maple kind of like blocking them. So, she'd probably be someone antagonistic to start with. Maybe maybe we could become friends with her, though. It's it's hard to say, though. Like, I don't know what we're going to do party-wise. Like, are we going to just remain the two of us forever? Because we obviously have are building up some friends in the game, but none of them have, like, become party members exactly, so I don't know if we're actually going to do that. Or if we're just going to remain the our, our duo party. Which I'd be okay with that for sure. I also prefer that. But we'll see. And then of course a little mascot, creepy mascot character explains the rules as it does. Something about medals and... And, uh... and we also spotted the uh, like samurai girl in the, in the audience. Like we, who we see in the opening. You know the classic J Japanese looking character... Katana's long black hair, you know, that kind of character, more traditional Japanese looking. And we also had a red girl, girl over here. It didn't look quite as important, but, you know, she could be important. There probably wouldn't be more than one red haired girl who's important, though, so probably not. And yeah, I also like the reference the one guy made to, like, hey, you're the rumored friend. She's like, rumored? Like, what, what are you talking about? Because they don't know how much these people are discussed on the forums and stuff. So, if only they knew. Well, and they knew how famous they were. But yeah, here in the Shadow ED, 2258, yeah, you can see that. The the Katana girl, like, with uh, with Sally. So, they might end up fighting together. And yeah, I think that's the redder girl there with the Arui Scoob. Yeah, so yeah, she is important, so... I don't know what importance she has, but she's somewhat important if she's in the ED. 
you know, we'll see. I wonder if we'll run into the uh, the Lolly girls again in the in this event. Who knows? Obviously, we got to run into them again because they are fairly prominent in the opening ED. So, who knows though? Who knows? Anyway, good episode. Definitely a great episode. I as far as as far as the Sally Maple togetherness bonding stuff. So far, I've gotten more than I could have ever expected. So, I I'm pretty happy on that front. And also, just not disappointed in the action combat front as well for people that are more focused. They care more about that stuff. We got a really cool boss battle as well. So, yeah, I, I'm thoroughly enjoying the show, personally. I mean, there might be some issues here and there with the pacing and stuff, but it doesn't take away from my enjoyment, really. So, I, I'm, I'm looking forward to more. Thank you for watching. And a special thanks to Snokey and Ryan for supporting the channel. If you enjoyed this video, I hope you consider clicking the like button and leaving a comment because that's a great and easy way to let me know that people want more. If you want to do something big to help the channel, you can support me on Patreon and get nice benefits like early access to certain videos. See you next time.